Proverbs 12 and verse 15. Proverbs 12 and verse 15. He says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkens unto counsel is wise. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkens unto counsel is wise. Child of God, as I said, I'm going to share very briefly with you. The scripture is self-explanatory. Much as we still need to explain because not everybody understands it the same. But he says the way of a fool is always right in his own eyes. And that is something we also know about the proud. The proud and the fools, the Bible usually talks about them in a similar way. One of the common characteristics about fools and proud people is that they always see themselves as right. When you begin to see yourself as right in everything all the time, when you always justify your actions regardless of the rebuke, then you understand you are starting to walk in the way of fools. Even if you were wise, you begin to become... Hallelujah. So even if you were wise, you begin to, you, you begin to become a fool bit by bit because you are not responding to wise counsel. You always think you got it. And that is not a good state to live in. It doesn't mean that you always have to live like you don't know anything going on. It doesn't have to mean that you live like you cannot make any decision. But it is an aspect of the wise to hearken and to counsel. Even the wisest of the wise, the reason they have advisors is because upon your wisdom, you'll still need somebody to help you understand something. You'll still need to inquire about a small thing, yet you have all the knowledge about the big thing. So, receiving counsel is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of wisdom. And you thinking that you have everything figured out is not a sign of wisdom or strength. It is a sign of foolishness. So you have to be wise. Hearken to counsel. Even that person that does not know much about what you're doing can give you a point of wise counsel. The Lord can use them to speak to you. So child of God, don't walk in the way of fools. Don't always be right in your own eyes. Don't keep justifying every mistake you make. Every time they rebuke you, you are wise. You have a reason for it. There is a reason they don't understand. When, when you are always in that kind of life, hey, you got to watch out. Everybody who says something at the workplace against the way you do things is the problem. Everyone who tries to say, but I think you should have done this, they don't understand. Now, that is a way of a fool. You cannot be right in your eyes when you are always wrong in everybody's eyes. Something is wrong, everybody is pointing it out. The people that don't know you, the people that know you, the people at church, the people at work, and for you, you are always right. They are the ones who don't understand. Ah, there is a problem with that kind of life. He says that is the way of a fool. But someone that is always hearkening to counsel, responding properly and positively to wise counsel, to advice, to rebukes, that person is wise. And you become wiser the more you listen to the wise. You become wiser the more you listen to the counsel of the wise. It doesn't mean that you'll just pick every kind of advice in trying to be wise and humble. No. But there are people that speak unto your life. And if three people are pointing out the same thing, pause and listen. I don't think they're all wrong. If they're all wrong, find out another party that you're very sure you can trust their wisdom and you can trust their spirit field and they're not connected with the others. If they still tell you the same thing, listen. You may have thought you were right about it, but probably you were wrong about it. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkens unto counsel is wise. May that word bless you today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.